Hi, welcome to Smellomania, quite a different perfume review channel where I actually try to draw what I smell. Today I will be reviewing my very first fragrance by Floraiku, which I took from this beautiful discovery set with my eyes closed and immediately wrapped with masking tape. I wanted to get a full experience of just the smell, because Floraiku perfume names are very colorful and I didn't want my drawing to be influenced by them in any way. Their discovery set contains these wonderful watercolor pieces together with a short haiku and a list of notes. I didn't read any of this, nor the official notes before trying the smell, because I wanted to allow my nose and my imagination to run free. My first blind choice from Floraiku is called One Umbrella for Two. Let me start by saying that it's pure black currant heaven. It's a very distinctive berry smell that couldn't be mistaken for anything else. If you've never tried fresh black currants, then I'm sure that you definitely had candies filled with the taste of forest berries. Well, this perfume has that candy opening for sure. The other thing that's very prominent is cookies. <laughs> or rather, a little bit salty crackers. It's marketed as a unisex fragrance. However, due to its gourmand nature, I would say that it's a little bit more feminine. It's very jammy, like that sweet, sweet black currant jam. And I must admit that it's a very unique smell. I definitely believe that you haven't smelled anything like this before in a perfume. It also feels a bit dusty, like those tiny cracker crumbs. The very beginning is super juicy and just feels edible. Let's get to the main drawing. One Umbrella for Two is completely delicious. It belongs somewhere in the kitchen. There's no other way to interpret it other than by just drawing food. <laughs> it's a very sweet gourmand smell. Just the perfect balance of sourness and sweetness. The smell manages to be uplifting and joyful without actually being childish. It's that slightly salty cracker feeling in the background that makes it a refined and modern olfactory creation. As it dries down, the cookie dough becomes more prominent. After I finished my drawing, I examined the notes to see where did this cracker feeling came from. And it's such an interesting twist. This perfume has a note of genmaicha tea extract. Genmaicha is also known as popcorn tea. It's a type of tea which is made while mixing green tea with roasted brown rice. And that's what I'm smelling. Popped brown rice. Amazing. It's a perfect dessert. It has it all. Great longevity, sour beginning, and a very modern, dusty dry down. Now, let's get back to my interpretation. It starts with a burst of the most delicious black currant jam that could also be a forest berry one. And very quickly, it gets mixed with a handful of cookies. A scrumptious duet, I tell you. There's a tiny bit of salt on the crackers and a few atoms of peanut butter on that knife. And what's that in the background? Well, someone is baking a second round of cookies. It's an analogy for the whole olfactory journey this perfume creates. First, you get the jam with cookies, and later, only the baked goods remain. Sweetness subsides, and you're left with a little stale, hot cookie air. Imagine just opening the oven and you're greeted with scorching hot, dry air straight in your face. <laughs> so that was it for Floraiku and its wonderful gourmand creation called One Umbrella for Two. It was such a fun and delicious experience. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next week on the other one. Bye!